Well, we're back at the creek today. Um, just walking along here on the way to our bottle dig spot. And we spotted something. I thought it was iron, but uh, look at that beast. Two inch or six feet long. Old copper pipe. It's pretty good. That's a few pounds of uh, scrap copper. We'll see you on the next. So we're back digging at the spot. We finished up there, we petered out, so we're going to start down here where we probably should have started in the beginning. But uh, we've undercut some stuff and we pulled out one bottle so far. Nothing too special, but we just had this fall out. I think it's another one of those amber flasks. Go take a look, Neil. Bring it out and see what it is. Is it intact? I think so. Yeah, that's probably, I think that's the seventh. Seventh intact one of those. Another applied applied top. And we got another another bottle just sitting in the roof. Go pull that one out, Neil, and see what we got. Ooh, looks like an old pickle jar. Some grease or something. That's Ooh, filled is that with grease inside? Might be. Oh, it's got some sort of weird stuff inside of it. Mm. Oh, we'll check that out later. And I don't know what that is. Maybe it's fat thrown in there. You never know. That stuff can last for quite a long time. Anything else under there? I don't think so. No? Yeah, that's well, it. We'll do some more digging and uh, see what else pops out. Alright, so we're into a little bit further here. I think we're going to stop about here and uh, start pulling that stuff down. But uh, we pulled out this piece of what looks like a old glass lamp in an absolutely stunning emerald green color. It's too bad that wasn't uh, intact. That would be quite nice. But uh, I spot something in there and I believe we got a clock gear in there. I can see it. I can see it sticking out right there. Neil, can you grab that and let's uh, take a look at what it is? Oh yeah. That's definitely out of a clock. Kind of cool to find that metal detecting, but also cool to find it uh, dump digging too. All sorts of stuff you can find this way. Pretty cool. We'll see what we can uh, see what comes out next. All right, so we're getting up a little bit further. I think we might have one of those uh, yellowy flasks. I can see it exposed right there. All right, Neil. Let's uh, reveal. Let's see what we got. It's a jam between some rocks. Careful, don't be gentle. Oh, I think here it comes. Oh, I think it is one of those. Oh my goodness, it is another one of those yellow flasks. And it's intact. Oh, beauty. That is such a nice color. Look at that. Now, we are in an area that I found out is behind an, a hotel from the 1800s. So down this embankment, it's going to be tons of liquor bottles from that. And that's a beauty. Look at that thing. Sweet find. Well, just now Neil just pulled something else out of the out of there. Pretty interesting looking thing, and this spoon. That's a neat little spoon. It looks almost like a baby spoon. We'll check that out and see what it is. And uh, I don't know what kind of animal that is, but uh, could it be human? Probably not. Let's see what comes up next. All right, looks like we've exposed another uh, one of those yellow flasks. I think we're finished with this spot. All we're into is looks like 1950s. It's funny the way things transition here. There's like a transition between 50s and much older. You can see tin foil sticking out of the top there. And I think where that flask is is a very thin layer of the old stuff. So let's take a look at that, Neil. And I think it might be another one of those yellow flasks. 
Let's cross our fingers and see if it's intact. And by the way, uh, I could have sworn the last time we were out here we found two of those and I was right. I, I just looked across over there and the bottle was right there where I left it. Now I could have sworn that we had found two and I was right. So pretty sweet. I think we've got four of those those bottles now. Let's see what you got, Neil. Well, it's coming. I think it's intact. Oops. Oh, a rock hit that side. Oh well. I guess you can't win them all. Here's another nice, nice colored one though. Oh well. I'm sure there's more here. Okay, so Neil just pulled this, uh, we found another toothbrush just came out of the... If we can get it to focus. Come on, focus. There we go, it says, Our Lady's Brush. Man, that thing has got a huge, long thing. That'd be, if you stuck that in your mouth, that'd be enough to choke a horse. Crazy stuff. Another, another neat uh, bone toothbrush. All right, Excellent. so we've got the initial cleaning done in the creek. Uh, here we are with the, them partially cleaned up. And that is a beautiful yellow flask. Quite something. See the other one, Neil? Yeah, look at that. This one's got even thicker glass at the bottom. There's the yellow, oh yeah. And we found, I think we found two amber stoppers today. Let's see the other. Here. There's the amber flask. I think that's number seven out of here now. I think we've almost got a stopper for each one of them too. And then this one, we weren't sure what it uh, was, but it's actually, it's kind of, it is a bit amethyst. So that's a decent one. It's got some really cool uh, dents in the glass from when it was made. Love these old crude, crudely made bottles. And last but not least, and I believe this is probably a pickle jar. Screw top, but it, it's still probably old from back in the day. It's hard to say though, I think this one might have, yeah it does. This one has the mold line going to the top, so I'm not sure. Maybe this one came out of the, uh, there was a bit of a newer dump right on top of the old stuff so this could have come out of that who knows anyway that's the wrap up in the creek the creek wash up so we'll see you on the next video